Hey, everybody. Hope all is well. So, I want to do a quick video. Um, along with the jingle. So, a friend of mine, I was speaking with her. She's a Bama girl. Shout out to all the Bama girls. Alabama. Uh, she is uh, an agent, insurance agent. And they were having a family reunion. And then, I guess some people didn't get hotel reservations in time, couldn't afford the hotel reservations. And as a result, they offered, they asked to stay with her. So they do well, uh, big, beautiful home, you know, very successful. Okay. Do quite well. So some of them came to stay with her and then I could hear the kids in the background and we're talking. I'm like, whoa, what's that? She's like, oh, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Yeah. A little TT in them. I, I got you, girl. <laughs> and then it got kind of interesting. And I was just like, I said, wow, there's a lot of them in there. And they've got the room, of course. And then I thought, I said, so do you have a lot of family that's flying in? Are they out of state? Or she goes, no, most of them are here, you know, but you're like in, you know, north, south, east, west, that kind of thing. So most are in state. And, and I asked that for a reason. Because I know that she works um, in corporate America. And she still had her insurance business on the side. And I said, girl, out of all these family members, so we're talking about at the family reunion that there's a place reserved. We're talking about 300 plus, right? So you can get at least 50 people to give you a quote. She said, no. She said, they know I sell insurance. None of them, they won't even get a quote. Nothing. Huh. This is your family. And I'm not surprised. And then I told her about what this guy said to me. I don't recall his name. I'm going to call him Peter. So Peter, uh, I guess something happened at the beach house. And long story short, he was telling me about it. And so keep in mind, in Blackistan, family reunion, all of these people that are black in your family, in the state, some staying in your house now, staying up in your house, can't afford a hotel for the weekend. And plus got all these kids. And, you know, some hotels, they may charge, I th they said they may charge additional per kids. It just depends. But they're all up in your house. This is your black family. We love each other. No family reunion. Yeah, right. So I told her what Peter said. I said, well, here's what's interesting, the, the reason I asked that. Um, he said, so something happened to the house. And he said, basically, the insurance agency that they are dealing with, he said, oh, yeah, they've been... Uh, his family has used that same insurance agent agency for 30 years. He said his grandfather started doing business with him. And then the whole family, he said everybody in the families, their house, car, their businesses, the beach house they inherited, anything that needs to be insured, they all use that same agent. Why? Because the grandfather used them. And he and the agent, I guess they became friends. They respect each other, obviously. And they all use that same for the past 30 years. You think he's the only one? And I told her about it. And I said, now, but you're sitting up here, all these family members. And some broke, stand up in your house because they can't afford the hotel. Let me guess they bring food or you're going to have to feed them. But they've got cars and stuff and homes and apartments. Ah, I got you. But, but they can't even get a, a quote, but they'll give all the business to, I guess, the white man or any other man. And that's the right, exactly. But why can't they go, why can't he put them up? But you got, this is your family. Yeah, duly noted. I'm like, do you see what I'm getting at? She was like, oh, you don't have to explain to me. And it made me think, that's how the people operate. They're making sure that that business continues by providing a service. Now, she's pretty. Her husband is attractive. Um, look 20 years younger than what she is. Very nice lifestyle. So I'm wondering if it's jealousy. And that's the problem with this group. That's why my sympathy card is pretty much it's maxed out. I used to be one of those, oh, my God, who are you going to do? Someone needs to help and do something. Yeah, right. They can help themselves, honey. And I thought about it. I said, so they're making sure that they keep that alive. And I thought about it. I said, wow, I bet the parents would be uh, be honored. 
They are key. They didn't try to say we, we don't shop. Around. No, we stay with this agent. The whole family does. Everybody gets the memo. Then some people I can tell they get mad about. Like I said, I did a video about Target and uh, Whole Foods closing. Sweetie, I, look here. Don't come telling me. No, everybody's different uh, in their expertise. But if you think that I got to close a business because of because of theft. Uh, sweetheart, you must be very young. Trust and believe it happens every day. That's the problem. Black and Stan doesn't understand. We are so caught up on afraid somebody gonna have something that most don't have anything. And at this point, as my father used to say, you've been here all this time and you still don't, you still don't get it. You still don't see how things operate. You still don't understand those people. There's a way that things work. We don't want to face it. Do you really think some of those Ukrainians that are here, that, that they're going to get here and they can come to the black community, start a business? Are they going to go, oh, I ain't going to support him because he's Ukraine? Oh, no. Only one group of people does that that I've seen in this ignorant black people. And no one says you have to. No. But that's just the, stupi the stupidity. Jealousy. Afraid that somebody that looks like you're going to have something. And some are just paralyzed by fear. Some people, I hate to say, they actually do love their family. But you know what? They're so paralyzed by fear. Don't you try it, so-and-so. It ain't going to work. Why? Because theirs never work, or they were too scared to try. So look how they operate and look how we operate. Look, no, look how everybody else operates. There's a lot of work to do. And it's time. Not tomorrow. We're a day late and a dollar short. Actually, we are century, not a day late. We are centuries late and centuries short. And we all know what happened back then. Yes, we do. But what about today? What about today? So let me tell you something. If you are a black person, and it can apply to anybody, but I'm speaking specifically to the BC, and you want to start a business, do not tailor your business to the needs of Pakistan. A lot of us, I'm thinking what's happening is that we're letting, you're focusing on the people that you know, your family and friends, your community. How many people do you know? Do you know a million people? I know I don't, and I doubt you do. Do you? So why would you make a business decision based on your friends and family, the people that you know, when there are, uh, there are millions of people out there in the universe? think about it now if yours is just designed that way that's fine but for some others you have a business idea or a business maybe something you're thinking about it don't tailor it to the peeps to people you know because see in most cases they're not going to support it you should know by now if you don't know do some research how the community operates because in doing so, if you just listen to your friends and family or you're saying they're not supporting it, then I hate to tell you, those people are dream killers. Most don't have a dream. Most black people in Blackistan are living a nightmare. Living in Blackistan is a nightmare. You can be shot any moment. There could be a fender bitter there. Pow, 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 pow. Seriously. So don't tailor your dream. Your family and friends, man, you, you love them. Go follow your dream. Market to other people. Think you would like-minded people. Because in most cases in the BC, they're dream killers. Mm-hmm. They are. It is what it is. Our people don't get it. Boeing leaving Chicago? Really? You believe that little answer that they gave? No, the hair writing's on the wall. Boeing leaving? Target and Whole Foods leave certain areas in, in Chicago. Gee, what you think? Target and Whole Foods can, can uh, prosper every place else, but not in the Blackistan. The same reason that a lot of black businesses can't survive in Blackistan. It is what it is. So, it's time to make some changes. Do, do not let your business decision be based upon your family and your friends and the lack of support and you shut it down. There are other people out there. I need, I'm, I'm sorry, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even waste my time. And I'm not going to say if, we're hoping it does, when, I'm going to say when, to speak it into existence. When success comes, don't feel obligated. Don't let them drag you down with all their BS problems, with all their poverty-minded, seven-figure problems. Well, you know, the month they ain't paid this month. Girl, he was only paying $25 a month for three kids.
He paid this month. You think, no. Keep your business separate. If they can't be there for you in the struggle, when the come up comes, you don't need them. Okay? So I hate to see people letting their dreams die because you're basically, you're concentrating on those people. Don't waste your time, sweetie. Don't waste your time and the energy is not worth it. And if they want to support you, they will. But look at the difference. For 30 years, everybody goes there. They're keeping that business afloat. I ain't got to go to him. You're right. And for those businesses that they are in the BC, they're not thriving. And they're, I mean, like I said about Whole Foods and Target, we ain't got the shop that you sure as hell don't. And you sure as hell don't have to don't have to have high unemployment, which we do have a high crime rate, lower tax base. Our people don't get it. So for the ones that do, go ahead and follow your dream, follow your passion. Do not let the unhappy people in your life the limited thinking people in your family and friends that look like you do not let them dictate your business your idea how you operate there's a whole world out there you need to go ahead and start marketing to them don't waste your time and your dollars it's not worth it why because the bc is the home of the dream killers it is it just is so Let's go ahead. I'm going to share that with you. But you look at how they operate, and then you look at how our people operate. Basically, that's how everybody operates. They support each other. Well, they won't give me a chance. That's racism. You won't give your own a chance. Discrimination. There's there's racism and discrimination. But black folks do it every day. They, they discriminate against the intelligent ones. Afraid somebody's going to have something. Let's be real. But be pookie and Ray Ray and uncaught a case. Oh, we got to do something. Get the lawyer out. Seriously. Seriously. So, for all the positive people that want to build, it's time. It's time. Not tomorrow, but right now, it's time. Don't cater it around the people that you know. Think outside the box. So, let's go ahead and do the... Welcome to the Hood song jingle. And feel free in the comments if you have some similar stories you want to share, tell us about, weigh in on the conversation. Yo, I'd love to hear from you. And I want to say also thanks to everybody who has supported the channel. Thank you. Thank you so much. So uh, a few people, some someone did it yesterday, and I saw maybe a week or so ago, you know, I was like, hey, we like the jingle, do more jingle. Da, da, da. Okay, so you know how we do it here. It's like a jingle might come up within three or five minutes, okay? And it is what it is, a little homemade jingle. But I'm going to go ahead and let's go ahead and get to this little jingle. Welcome to the hood jingle. Here's what we have to offer you. Okay. Again, it's called Welcome to the Hood. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Welcome to the hood, y'all. Welcome to the hood. I'm from the welcoming committee. Yes, I am from the welcoming committee. Welcome to the hood. Here's what we have to offer you. Ready? Here's what we got to offer you. Because we got bullets flying, children dying. Bullets flying, mothers crying. Bullets flying, life is firing. But you don't want to hear from me, baby. 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 Say it again. We got bullets flying, children dying. Bullets flying, mothers crying. Bullets flying, life is firing. But you don't want to hear from me, baby. Yeah, welcome to the hood. Baby, baby. We've no economy, just poverty, savagery, blood in the streets. 
Babies are losing their mommies, but you don't want to hear from me, baby, 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 baby. Welcome to the hood, because we got bullets flying, children dying, bullets flying, mothers crying. Bullets flying, life is firing, but you don't want to hear from me, baby, 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 baby. We don't want to plan your seed, we like poverty, generational wealth is a fantasy. We kill not be living on our knees, but you don't want to hear from me, baby, baby. Baby, baby, cause we got bullets flying, children dying, bullets flying, mothers crying, bullets flying, life is firing, but you don't want to hear from me, baby. Welcome to the hood, the dusties are up to no good, you know what's up. We know economy, just poverty. Savagery, look in the streets. Babies are losing their mommies, but you don't want to hear from me, baby. 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 Welcome to the hood. We don't want to plan, you see. We like poverty. <laughs> 